What's up collectors? DK here with Collectors Impact and today we are going to take a quick look at this bundle that was available from or may still be available, I'm not sure. Uh, I didn't check before filming this, but <laughs> it was available pretty recently from Channel Fireball. But this is the little bundle that they had um, that was $500. So I will say I'm honestly not too happy about that price point. Uh, I don't think that anybody is, and they shouldn't be. But yeah, I guess it is what it is. A um, little bit of background on it. Basically, Channel Fireball obviously held back a little bit of their stock, of the first edition MetaZoo boxes in case the market um, went crazy, which it did. And so now they were able to readjust their prices. And um, yeah, I guess it is what it is, but at least this bundle was a slightly better deal than your average market price on eBay at the time that I purchased this at least. So yeah, I mean, you get the first edition box of 36 packs, plus of course the box topper, the um, release event box, which has three packs, and a promo card and deck and we're actually going to go ahead and open that in this video just because i have such a hankering to crack some packs so we're going to do it with this <laughs> haven't quite decided on the booster box yet uh, if i am going to open another box i have one in my collection that's in worse condition than this so that's probably the one that i would crack into first but anyway this was the key selling point for the bundle uh, and it is the channel fireball promo card it is a holographic version of fireball with this like random set of chompers <laughs> in the fireball honestly i'm not too big of a fan of this art i don't really understand uh the point of this particular art maybe it's got some sort of inside joke that i'm missing i don't know it's it's really weird it's just like those teeth that you put down the little wind up teeth that you wind up and then put on the kind of you know something like that but <laughs> It's just, it's really weird. The thing that I do like about it is that it's foil and very nicely so. And it has this little Channel Fireball logo in the corner, like the Kickstarter cards have uh, with the little thing there. So that's cool. And it does say first edition as well. So it is branded as the first edition launch promo for Channel Fireball. It's going to be interesting to see how these uh, pan out in the market over time, what they end up going for on average. This particular one is in a card saver because I will likely send this into PSA one day. I'm not going to express ship this, that's for sure. This is just a set it in one of these cases and hold it for probably a year until PSA calms their, calms their shit and then I can get my stuff in there. One thing that I know you guys probably want to see is the box itself. This is the box that came from the set, so this is not a different one from my collection. This I just opened it right out of the box, the shipping box, and you can see... Overall, it's in pretty good shape, uh, but there is, of course, a blemish that is present on this box. But this is definitely not the worst that I've seen, that's for sure. So you can see right here, boom, it got hit. And it's got a nice rivet there, a nice dent, and some issues on this corner. You can definitely see evidence of a hard impact from something. But other than that, it is pretty solid. So I'd say it's about a 90%, 90% mint condition, <laughs> which obviously makes it not mint condition, but I'm just saying, in terms of the boxes that are in my collection at this moment, which there are not a lot, um, this one is, is um, it's middle of the road. All right, well, let's go ahead and crack into this release event box and see what deck I got. Of course, I would love this little Swamp Priest this card, as that is the most expensive and rarest card. I guess technically it isn't the rarest because they're all the same rarity <laughs> in terms of the ratios. They're an even ratio of how many you can get. And I'm trying to remember the exact number off the top of my head. I want to say there's like 5,000 of each. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section on that. I can't remember the print run off the top of my head. But I do want to say it's a 25,000 total print run, 5,000 of each uh, deck. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, damn it. <laughs> damn it. It's that wolf one. What is this called? Wahila. Wahila. That's what we got. So, um, you know, overall, though, I do like the way this looks. It's a really nice looking foil. Really good presentation. Um, 
yeah, that's going into my uh, sleeved up card collection for sure for potential future grading. It's a beautiful card, just not the one I wanted, you guys. <laughs> I'll probably track down and open a couple more of these before it's all said and done, uh, just seeing if I could pull it or not. Let's do a quick once over of the deck, see what the heck is in here. So we got the spell mar, or not spell marks, geez, bookmarks, frost auras, some forests, some GG birds, ghost deers, ice path, icy path, uh, Morpheus, you got a few of those, snow snake, snowing, <laughs> the action there, um, well, you know, the environment, whatever it's called, the Terra card, spirit auras, uh, the spooksters, yeah, pretty basic. This one is, is far more basic than the other one that I had, which was the, the fire dragon one. So this is, it's all right, whatever. I don't know how it ranks out of the five. I would assume it's definitely like the weakest or the second weakest. <laughs> all right. And the moment we have all been waiting for, let's crack these three first edition packs. Here's a little spell to get a moth man. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Okay, some bunny man action, haste, fog of war, dragon's breath, the spookster, earth's freaking core. I'm all about these mox cards and winter and lightning. Mm. I'm honestly a little tired of seeing those, you guys. I don't know if that's good or bad, but <laughs> I want to see some more like, um, you know, cryptids. That's kind of what this is all about. So I would like to pull a few more cryptids. Let's see, Lava Bear, the Cactus, some Shadow People, Black Cat, Stone Skin, and Chibi Mothman Reverse Foil. So, my spell half worked. <laughs> we got a Chibi Mothman Reverse Foil. Uh, definitely not as good as Mothman. But the fact that it's Reverse Foil is kind of cool. Alright, and here we go. The Mothman Pack. That's the good luck one. Right here's a good luck one. Anything that's good. Come on. Obnoxious Nine... Some uh, some Mothman action, any of the other big ones, that would be cool. Antidote, Chaos Potion, oh look, another Chibi Mothman regular. <laughs> Pyrokinetic Blast, Transfiguration, Lightning in a Bottle, Transfiguration again, and of course, another Mox, Reverse Foil. No Hollows, uh, not doing too hot. Yep, cue the music. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, yeah, um, well, that wraps it up for this video, guys. What did you guys think of this bundle from uh, Channel Fireball? Do you think that it was uh, a good deal, a bad deal? How do you feel about this? Because it's kind of an interesting thing. Um, is the promo card worth it to you guys? Do you like it? What do you think of these freaking teeth on it? It's so weird. <laughs> but... Yeah. Oh, and should I open the box? What do you think? Open that box, keep it sealed, or open a box? I don't know. I'm really on the fence with it. It's uh, it's just one of those things that's kind of nagging at me, too. I really would like to open another 36 packs, as it's a lot of fun. But maybe I could just wait for Unlimited or Nightfall, since that's coming out next month. I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know. <laughs> Either way, I thank you very much for coming by and checking out this video. If you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up as it greatly helps with the channel and the algorithms and stuff. And if you want to see some more pack openings of MetaZoo and some other videos that I've done in the recent past, definitely check them out on the channel. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to uh, the box opening that I did if you do want to see 36 packs open. It was a pretty fun time. So, Anyway, thanks again for coming by, and I hope to see you again next time. Take care.